Welcome to the Buttery Babe. Today we're going to make our favorite late summer dinner, fresh corn polenta with tomato salad and local burrata. We're going to start by getting some herbs from our garden. Today we have oregano, chives, and basil that we picked this morning and I'm going to make it super easy. Just roll them all up in a bundle and chiffonade. If they're not perfect, doesn't matter. They're still going to taste delicious, especially once we combine everything up and pour a glass of chilled white wine. Lucky for me, my husband's a good drinker. So fresh herbs, we're gonna put them in the bowl. Also this morning, we picked some beautiful tomatoes from the garden. So we have some Kamado tomatoes that we're gonna have and add to the bowl. These little cherries, they're super sweet. You can leave them as they are. And then the sun golds, which are definitely my favorite this year. They're nice and juicy also. So again, just have them and add them to the bowl. If you don't grow your own tomatoes, even better, the center will come together in a flash. It's also perfect as a side dish, just some nice salmon or seared steak. So we have the half tomatoes and the little ones we left whole. Nice pinch of kosher salt. A few grinds of black pepper. And then just a drizzle of extra virgin olive oil to help bring all those flavors together. And then of course, your fresh herbs. So you're gonna mix them together, because we did have the three kinds. Tomatoes, get the chives, they get oregano, they get basil, and those are just gonna get a quick stir. And then they're gonna hang out while we make the polenta. As I said, dinner will be ready in just a flash. So, just come home from work, you're hungry, you're tired, you need some comfort. We're gonna be ready in just a minute because we have our five minute polenta. So I added two tablespoons of buttery because I am the buttery babe. One cup of water, one cup of milk. If you wanna make it even richer, add half and half. Little bit of salt, another little bit of salt. Our fresh pepper. I've had this pepper milk for 20 years, I love it. And then we're just gonna do about a tablespoon of crushed up garlic. Done and done. Whisk it all together. You're gonna wait a second until it comes up to a simmer and then we'll add in the polenta. So our water and milk has come up to a simmer and it smells delicious already. We're gonna gently sprinkle in the polenta while we're mixing. You don't want to pour it in all at once because you will have a sad polenta lump which nobody likes to eat. Give that a quick whisk. It's going to come up to a boil and it'll be ready in about five minutes, maybe a little bit less. Well, our polenta is just about ready. You can tell by its delightful little bubbles. We're going to dump in our fresh summer corn. If you want this dish in the winter, just use frozen. It's peak picked at its peak in a quarter cup of grated up Parmesan. Nice and delicious. Stir, stir, stir. You can turn that flame off as soon as it comes back up to the bubble. See how luscious that is? So, that's ready. We're gonna grab our pot holder because the copper does retain heat. Pour it out into our lovely bowl. If you like your polenta a little bit thicker, definitely just cook it another minute or two or let it set up. And then you could slice it and fry it in the morning for breakfast, so good. We're gonna put on that beautiful tomato salad we made earlier. Straight across the middle. some shaved Parmesan, and possibly my favorite part, a beautiful local burrata. So this is a mozzarella cheese that's shoved with shredded up mozzarella and heavy cream. Look at how delicious that is. And that'll melt right in with the heat. Or stay on top for bigger chunks, but that's how we like it. Thanks for joining us at The Buttery Babe. Be sure to visit Buttery Babe dot com. Visit our Facebook, our Instagram, and our Twitter. Thank you.